Last episode, we met Sonder, who tried to take her blonde hair brown, and it turned gray. To find out what happened there, you can click the link below. In this episode, we are helping out Kiana, who just wanted to go a couple shades darker and ended up no shades darker and a little bit orange. If you have never seen my face before, welcome. It is so nice to meet you. My name is Shannon. I'm a hairstylist and industry educator out of rural Midwest, Illinois. I have been in the field since 2008. Along with being licensed, I also hold an applied science degree in cosmetology. So let's see if I can use all of that to share what went wrong with Kiana's hair. And play. Hey guys, it's Kiana and we're gonna dye my hair today because what else is new? So I have some like argon oil hair color. I don't know. I picked it up at a beauty supply store today. Let's hope it works. First time using it because I don't know what this hair color is right here. I'm not digging it. It's like, mm -hmm. and just letting you know, this is not the first time I've dyed my hair. Like right now I'm this rusty brownish blondish and we're gonna go like a light golden blonde camera. There was a little edit in there. She meant to say light golden brown. So Kiana wants to be a light golden brown. I've already seen this video and from the picture she inserted at the end, I know that her vision of light golden brown seems to be about two levels darker than her current color. She has chosen 20 volume developer and a permanent hair color in the shade 5G. The shade descriptor by the company is light golden brown. So how could things go wrong? I will go ahead and say that the choice of hair color and developer was not the best one for her case. I can understand the attractiveness that the term permanent hair color brings because we assume that it means it's going to last longer. However, the dyes in permanent hair color will still fade. What is permanent is the lift it provides. That will never be restored to its original state. Permanent or ammoniated or alkaline hair color has the ability to lighten natural pigment and does a better job at covering gray hairs. If you are taking your client darker and there isn't a lot of gray, then there is no need for an ammoniated hair color. Demi-permanent or non-ammoniated or acidic hair color will not lighten the natural pigment of the hair and only add in artificial pigment. By the time I'm 20, my hair is probably going to fall out my head. All right, oh, this is a mess. I tried grabbing the hair dye and just smushing it in my hair. This smells so strong. I don't know why I'm taking my gloves off. This doesn't turn out nice. So, um, I'm gonna show you the final product. When it said golden brown, I understood the golden part, but this looked nothing like the little hair sample piece and I should have known by now. I blame it on myself for picking the wrong shade. My hair matches the color of the towel. I go to sleep and I'll meet back with you guys tomorrow and we will see what my new hair color is. Well, I'm just going to insert some pictures from when I got back from the salon. Love that hair color on her. So I want to go over something very important about the level system. A level system is a numerical gradient scale that measures a color's lightness or darkness. There is not one universal level system that every manufacturer uses. When you are designing a color company, you can place your levels anywhere you please along this gradient. That is why some level systems go all the way up to 10 while others go to 12. And these levels do not always match up across brands, which is why some level fives tend to be lighter or darker than other level fives. Since we know she wanted to be two levels darker, we need to know where she is at now according to that company's level system. According to one and only, which is the brand she used, she may have already been considered a level five, in which case she would have needed to select a level three to get the result she was after. In the salon, we have level finder swatches for each color line we carry. We always reference the level system from the brand that we are planning on using. Most store-bought dyes do not have this available, so it really is trial and error. 
So I hope I was able to offer some clarity on the level system and what the difference between demi-permanent and permanent hair color is. I would love to know your biggest takeaway from this video. One key thing that you're always gonna remember, leave it down below for me. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of the video. As always, to celebrate, I am going to reveal a fact about myself. Today's fact is I used to be a competitive cheerleader for a hot minute. So here is a couple fun pictures of that. I only did it for a couple of years, but I absolutely loved it. And I just got to see my old coach a couple days ago. So this little fact was fresh in my mind. So I thought it would be a good time to share it. Hi Kent, if you're watching. And along with today's fact, I wanna play a little game. Ever since I've been doing this YouTube thing, people have been telling me, you look like this celebrity or you look like this celebrity. I do have one celebrity doppelganger that I get all the time and I want to see if you can guess who she is. I will give you a hint, we do not have the same hair color currently. So I'll take my hat off so you can get a good look at me. Can you guess her? Leave your guesses in the comments and I will reveal who she is in next week's video. That is all the fun I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll chat later. Bye. Flies are so nosy. What? I deserve that, I guess. Why is it white? Shouldn't it be brown? Oh my gosh. I think I injured it.